Gemini's welcome back to the channel it's a scene tarot so we're gonna jump into an energy poll for you and see what we have these are all general reads not personal ones so if it does resonate go ahead and thumbs up the video here on YT um, just be advised all 300 likes you guys on a video someone would be chosen in the comment section for a 30 minute free session um, so make sure you guys are supporting your videos comment down below share the videos on your wall as well if that's possible but yes all the information is down below in the description box if you're looking for a personal reading just make sure to check the description box all the information is there from the prices to how to reach me um, the policy there's no refund you guys unless I cannot perform the session I'll give you back your money but other than that you can always reschedule with me and just make sure that you guys are ready to make payment on the on for your session okay i do not hold appointments until appointment date i you know you need to make payment to confirm the slot so all that information is down below so before you send me an email make sure that you guys are on the same page all right so let's just see what we have gemini's let's see what we have for you for this energy poll um don't know what it's going to be about but I never do. Um, let me get myself moisturized because these cards, I kid you not, dries out your hands. So you have to like, you know, moisturize your hands. <laughs> All right, so I'm excited to see it. I'm excited to see what we have for you, gems. I do apologize for today. I felt like, oh my God. I was so sure I put Scorpio on the video that I uploaded earlier today and it was Gemini's so on that video. So that video was meant for Scorpio. Um, but now we're on a good page. I think you forgive me, right? <laughs> All right, so let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's the energy for gems? What's the energy for gems? What's the energy for gems? the energy for Gemini's. The, ooh, the hangman energy. So someone is watching you here. Pisces energy as well, Major Arcana. We also have the Seven of Wands energy. I'm seeing the Two of Swords. Okay, and I'm also seeing the Page of Pentacles. So let's see what else. Two more. Wow, so the Eight of Swords and you have the Three of Cups in reverse. So something definitely shady happened here. I feel like this is somebody that you could have been dealt dealing with um gemini that you know had some kind of third party situation on you honestly because i'm seeing like that eight of swords energy like you felt this you knew this but for some reason you kind of released this energy as well and got yourself confidence back it's like i'm seeing you checked out of the situation um because of a third party situation here like no one needs to tell you anything you already know like this person was very distanced with Pisces, with the hangman. Um, some of you, this person ran away, was being very controlling or, or hidden in their situation, hiding things from you. This is what I'm getting here. And needing to make some form of decision, but was taking their lovely time to do so. Um, hmm. Also see like this person has issues with some form of stability like I'm just hearing like a complainer you know like not really doing anything with their lives but I'm just hearing like complaining about how things are just not working out for them or things are quite hard I feel like this person might be even playing the victim role they're not going to sacrifice I'm not seeing change here for this energy major arcana is pisces for now this is what i'm seeing here water energy within the hangman watching waiting spying creeping <laughs> energy waiting for the right time to kind of like get things done on their time hmm interesting 
but I'm seeing like that that's the energy that is around you right now within your energy pole so and I feel like you got yourself back you got yourself back from whatever restriction they was trying to put on you from the seven of wands energy to, to, to the eight of swords energy <sighs> like this person was trying to be very controlling within this energy but they failed they failed this is what I'm seeing here we also have Aries so tell me more you have the six of cups the six of wands in reverse You also have the Queen of Swords. Tell me more. I'm seeing conversation between you and this person. So a lot of you could be talking. I'm also seeing a connection here, a strong pull, a contract. So you're supposed to be in each other's life to kind of help each other with spirituality and growth, communication, okay? Just understanding the pr the process of life together. But I'm seeing like this person has an issue of losing things. And I feel like they have some kind of hiccup where even though they're kind of like showing me like they're like they are tapping into some form of communication. They're showing me like they're older vibe with that energy. Like they're not a stranger to communication. This is what I'm seeing. But I just feel like with other aspects, like when it comes to stability, this person is not that. They have not reached that spot yet. Hmm. I'm just seeing like a lot of similarities here. So this could be another Gemini or an Aquarius or a Libra, something that connects you. But I'm also seeing like this person is like... I'm seeing a lot of healing here. I'm seeing a lot of throwing out a lot of negative vibe of energy or trying to manifest, trying to like forgive, going back to the past and trying to like really like heal that situation. But hmm. I'm seeing like this is still in, you know, it's still in play here, this contract. So it's like I'm seeing like you're being pulled back, you know, or pulled together with this person's energy. This is what I'm seeing here. And I'm just feeling like you're getting, being pulled. And there's a huge determination of force with that with an Aries major arcana. For those of you who are dealing with an Aries or someone very bold, this could even be their moon sign as well. So tell me more. So you have the High Priestess, wow, which is crazy. The High Priestess, the Queen of Wands energy as well. You also have the Judgment in reverse. So Aries and Libra energy in Major Arcana. Then you have the Two of Swords that's coming out here. And the Two of Swords is coming up again. So that's the confirmation here. You have the Two of Swords, if I can get it. And then the Two of Swords here, which one is yin, one is yang, one is up, one is down. It's like quite different, but for some reason it comes together. So, <laughs> um, this is crazy. So I was like going back and forth within the mind. Another thing that I'm picking up is like I'm getting like you and this person is like vibrating energy together. Like you're thinking about each other a lot. You know, you have the six of cups energy. And it's like you're thinking about this person when they're thinking about you and vice versa. And this is just the pull. This is just the contract as well that I'm, I'm picking up here. 
but there's a decision that needs to be made to make this more permanent and I'm seeing like it's not made yet and this person looks at you as a son but you're coming up as a queen of wands and the high priestess very strong very nurturing very kind very quiet very silent person not really sharing your feelings or what you think about certain matters um, to other people you just feel like you're spiritually connected and you just feel like you are being guided and whatever happens happens this is what i'm getting here tell me more all right so the seven no the six of uh cup the six of swords and the ten of wands energy um <laughs> definitely seeing that there's again you know i was getting this earlier too but i was seeing like there is like this energy of not wanting this transition to happen you know even though you don't want it to happen i'm just seeing like there is still an energy of like letting it go because it doesn't even belong to you you're saying that this was a burden this situation this connection let's see what this connection is what's the energy of the connection holy spirit holy angels holy father the energy of this connection the energy of this connection <clears throat> this connection romantic feelings um we also have free yourself so there's a journey that you need to go on this is what i'm seeing here okay let your friends help you and what else let's see if we're gonna get something else oh retreat so get away from the noise. This is what I'm hearing. Like you and this person needs to be alone, alone for this to take place, for this to work. But I feel like you have feelings for this person. This person has feelings for you. The Six of Cups is being confirmed here. The Two of Swords. It's like even if you have everything that you need, both of you, it's like there's something holding you back from this. You know, the contract is way too strong. I'm seeing like there's a journey that you need to take alone, something to do, do with your soul, okay, your growth, your wisdom. It's like taking a step back from this situation for you to just do better. You really just want to do better with this, this test, this is what you're going through here. This is what I'm seeing. So you're like freeing yourself here. It says here, it's time to take back control of your life. It's time to take back control of your life. Hmm. I just feel like, and you know, the crazy thing is like this person has the seven of wands. So they have, they had this control or they wanted to have this control over the situation, hiding things, being guarded as well. And then it says, let your friends help you. So a lot of you are choosing to stay quiet within the high priestess you don't trust anyone but your spirit but your soul but your highest self and that's a good thing i feel like but the angels are saying is you know it's time to see someone else's perspective um but not act on it act on your own you know thoughts and needs but it's just time to like look at things in a, a different perspective maybe there's something that you can't see that they can and then I'm seeing retreat here. So I'm seeing like you need to be alone with this energy without people being involved. So obviously there's a lot of people within the seven of wands energy that is also coming up. There's a lot of loss here because of them forgetting how they got to a certain place or forgetting how nice or nurturing you were and just treating you badly here. So I, I feel like I'm seeing like this person losing so much. I'm also seeing on the back of the deck, um, getting to know each other. It's like you're starting over, getting to know each other. So it's like you're starting over with this person's energy. <laughs> All right, let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. What else is going on here? Oh nurture what nurture or healing it's a self-growth self-focus soul finding 
So taking it slow, just like I'm saying, taking a step back, it's like you have to go on a journey. There's some kind of nurturing, nurturing energy that is going on for you. A lot of healing that is going on for you. Look what came out too. Soulmate connection. This is a strong pull. This is what I'm seeing here. You have the Six of Cups energy. So there's a strong pull here. There is some kind of contract here. This A lot of you could have knew this person from a long time ago. Even childhood. Or maybe you got you went to school together. Or you were together for a long time. Within this connection. So. Alright. So let's see. Let's see. All right, clinging energy, codependent. Someone is coming off very clingy, obsessed, holding on. And I'm also seeing that spine energy again in Pisces. Like I said before, <laughs> Pisces energy is coming off strong in this situation. Lurking, spine, waiting. Waiting. Within Pisces. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Divine masculine, somebody that wants to be in charge or take charge. Okay, but I'm also seeing yin and yang. This says yang here, but I'm seeing like both of you like kind of like this is, could be, I don't know, is this is this soulmate? But a lot of you could be dealing with a twin flame connection. <sighs> it's been raining all day. It seems like it's gonna rain again. Um it's like a withdrawal as well trying to figure things out here some of you are just really being by yourself or just going in your solitude your space <clears throat> divine masculine like i said before a lot of you are calling yourself single here i'm just seeing you free <laughs> It says possibilities, free spirit, adventure, risk, like you're taking a risk to do something, finally living for yourself, you're exhausted from the past, you can't deal, you can't deal with this anymore, you don't have the strength to keep dealing with this, or to keep dealing with this person's energy, so you're drained, it's like I'm getting like you and this person been together for a long time, because it says long journey here, of just going back and forth or just feeling like really exhausted within this person a lot of you are seeing like this is helpless <laughs> hopeless this is the five of cups trying to heal really just um getting to a place of like this this is it this is what i wasted my time with it's like trying to heal from this trying to accept the situation having a hard time to accept this <laughs> And what it is dishonesty um deception trickery it's just so much more that you don't know about within the spider web everything is connected and i feel like within that energy you're going to find out the truth this is what i'm getting so let's just continue i'm gonna um come into this energy whoever this is okay so let's see what we have major arcana any major arcana that i miss aries libra cancer pisces and aries again so aries is coming out very strong very very strong here so what's the energy let's see what's the energy energy for this person that's coming through for gems this person that's coming through for gems Ooh. one at a time please one at a time please messages are flying all over the place but no we're not going to take all that one at a time Here we go. This person's energy. This person's energy. I 
All right, so the Five of Pentacles in reverse for this person's energy. We have the Seven of Swords energy as well in reverse. We have the Two of Swords. Oh my gosh, here it is again, Two of Swords energy. Then we have the Judgment in reverse. So Aries and Libra energy, Major Arcana. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is in the upright, you guys. So there's some fast messages coming towards you from this person. The lies are also out. This is what this person is saying. Like, the lies are out here. I'm also seeing that the Five of Pentacles is in reverse. Five of Pentacles is in reverse. Hmm. Interesting. Like this person wants to come back and resolve things after they broke this. They broke this, this foundation, this relationship. They broke it. And now I'm just seeing like you're doing your best to like get yourself back on track and this person wants to be a part of that i feel like they feel bad about this another thing that i'm picking up like other people came in i don't feel like this person told you the truth this is what i'm seeing like this person didn't tell you the truth i'm seeing the two of swords like they're like whatever they were dealing with and whatever they were having some kind of difficulty to um make a decision about within the two of swords i'm seeing like that is pretty much what it is like i'm not seeing them breaking the bridge there's a possibility that this person could talk back to these people again but or one person again but it's like now they're looking like okay they you know they need to make a decision like or they appear to make a decision decision about this uh, i'm just feeling like you know it's for now because things are just so heavy I'm also seeing the judgment here. So yeah, they, they didn't make a decision. <laughs> they just lied. I feel like this person is going to lie and tell you whatever you needed to hear about this situation. This is what I'm seeing here. Like they're going to have to do whatever they want to have to do to, to get on your good side. This person is a liar within the seven. Uh -uh. And I feel like you feel this. You have the queen of pentacles. You're, like, you're cutting them off. You're hurt. This person is saying that you're still hurt is coming off as very like, you know, consistent or just very present energy. Like you're hurt from this situation. I'm also seeing some messages, like I said before, coming in very quickly. This could be text. This could be call. Um, this could be just messages from other people. Very fast energy here. Um, Sag rules the eight of wands energy. Um it's crazy you have Aries here in Libra for me at least <sighs> interesting spirit is watching this situation within a judgment <laughs> it's like nothing is decided yet when it comes to a permanent decision about karma karmic energy or balance it's like they're giving this person a shot to kind of work things out with you or to make things right here. So tell me more. so <laughs> you have the ten of wands energy here within this person's energy you have the magician something different here you have the 11 11 as well so the four of wands the magician is gemini scorpio virgo energy 
Um, I'm also seeing, oh, you know what I need? One more. Let's see. Tell me more. Wow, two more. No, oh, three. Okay. You have the six, the seven, and the eight. So the six, the seven, and the eight. Oh, shit. All right, so I feel like this person wants to be with you. That's what, that's what I'm getting. I feel like there's a lot of burden here within their energy. They're talking about this burden, right? I feel like this is something that they're trying to like appear that they let go. I'm also seeing a lot of prayer here, a lot of manifestation, a lot of positive vibration that wants to come in. I feel like this person wants a future with you. You know, they're giving me the 1111. Then you have the six of cups again is the pole is the contract that keeps coming up for you and this energy it's like you guys have unfinished business here but I, i'm also seeing like this person is holding on to certain things or trying to be a masculine or trying to be in charge here and i just feel like within that energy as they're trying to like keep something away from you or protect you <laughs> they're in their own way they're also trying to prepare for something i'm seeing them getting ready or ready or trying to i'm um, trying to like really show you that they have been changed maybe impress you the word is impress but this contract is so heavy that it's showing up like there's going to be another chance for this one i don't see an apology so I don't see an apology about the past situation where they put you through so many trials and tribulations with multiple other people. And again, this could be family situation as well because I'm just getting from the Seven of Swords like someone wanted to hurt you. Like they just wanted to hurt you. They want you to see that you're just not the apple of this person's eye for some reason. Like they wanted you to hurt within this energy. The Seven of Cups in Reverse the wheel of fortune gemini aquarius taurus leo scorpio 10 of the 10 card which is the wheel of fortune is in the upright this is definitely about lessons about learning about being in each other's life this is also another form of a contract so you have contract energy coming up twice for this person energy you have the 10 this is not over nope the six and the 10 it's just it's just not over not with this person this person wants a future but i'm just seeing very prideful energy and there's no apology this is crazy for the past so it's like i'm just getting like like let's re 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 erase the past and move on for the future this is what i'm seeing tell me more and you can't because the five of cups i mean this is a lot of solo solo hollow grief um shallow energy that you're experiencing and you feel like this person put this upon you and there is a a fine line here because i'm seeing the five of cups and but i'm seeing it in the upright so there's not an energy of like per se to like put this in your past and move on from this like i'm not seeing like you're making that permanent decision of moving on and this person isn't either <laughs> i'm just like I'm not seeing this person moving on you have another page of cups in reverse so you're both very prideful here double whammy vote very prideful no apology from each other it's like you're waiting for something from the other person side you know then you have the two of swords again one is up one it's down it's like one has released and move and move from the situation but the other energy is still there i'm just getting like the other energy is still wrapped up in the past but in the six of cups it's all it's all positive memories this is what i'm getting there 
positive vibration, positive memories. Okay, let's clarify. Tell me about the Five of Cups energy. In reverse. One at a time, please. Five of Cups energy. So you have the Ten of Cups with the Five of... I'm sorry, not Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Five of Pentacles... Well, I said five of cups, but I know what I'm talking about, like... <laughs> okay, so five and five. I mean, these are five adversities. Five of pentacles, five of cups. Basically, the five... Because the five of pentacles happened, which is, like, basically making you feel like you're just not the one that they want to be with anymore. Some of you got left. Like, I'm just seeing, like, this person left or walked away from a connection without giving you any form of clarity you were kind of confused about the situation the way they left things but the gag of the situation is is that you build yourself back up they really thought that this was it that they really thought that you weren't going to do this and this is not the first time i'm picking up this energy like they're seeing that you're building up your life after a lot of lies were revealed they thought that those lies was going to dis like destroy you <laughs> like devastate you yeah you were devastated yeah you were hurt but you're also like fixing yourself and i feel like because of that five of pentacles the five of the ten of pentacles ended it's like i'm seeing a split here tell me about the seven of swords in reverse the queen of wands so you change towards this person. That's what I'm seeing here. Like you change, like your energy shifted towards this person. Like you're not very, you know, warm and not that you're not happy within yourself, but I just feel like you're just not playing stupid anymore. You're not playing the fool's card anymore with this person. Um you want more information anything that they say to you but look at this the contract again six of cups six of cups coming out here way too many confirm confirmations both of you feel so much for each other it's like a lot of you are thinking about each other it's like i'm just getting like a ping pong ball it's like going back and forth this is what i'm seeing here for you and this energy <laughs> so there's a contract in effect you know that they know that <sighs> i feel like this person could be getting readings as well because they're kind of confused okay i feel like this person never felt this way before and i don't feel like you did it either but the angels are saying like it's not the right time within the ace of swords here so this person has some more to learn tell me about the two of swords holy spirit two of swords the two of pentacles <laughs> they were juggling you with someone else yeah and they got caught up and overwhelmed they were i was trying to stay away from that energy but i'm just being brought back into it tell me about the judgment holy spirit wow the six of swords yeah but not making a decision because you just don't want this to happen they don't want this to happen so this is why there's no permanent decision because they don't want this to happen they don't want this transition to take place all right, tell me about the Seven of Cups energy. You have the Knight of Swords. So this person was a player. Look at that. The Knight of Swords and Seven of Cups energy. Can't even make this stuff up. 
like this person had multiple partners this is what i'm seeing here this person was afraid to commit tell me about the page of cups the seven of cup the seven of pentacles oh my gosh it's late you guys so bear with me seven of pentacles <laughs> They don't want to apologize, but they want to invest. Tell me more. A lot of emotional manipulation. This is what this person is doing. Like, ah, there's no one that's going to love you more than I do. So they're telling you this. Because they're afraid. This is what I'm getting. Pisces energy. Yeah, it's like they don't want to... It's like they're not coming off the right way emotionally. They're being very dramatic to you, to other people, because they feel like they're losing you. But they want to just invest in you, but they don't know how to, to, to show you this. Which is very strange. You have the death on the back, Scorpio energy. For those of you who are dealing with the Scorpio... Um, so the transition is going to happen no matter if they like it or not it's just going to take place this is what I'm hearing okay so tell me more Holy Spirit tell me more I'm seeing healing begins I'm seeing healing begins you guys Never judge another. Healing begins. Number six. Never judge another. Look at the heart chakra on this one. I love it. And healing begins. I feel like, why am I getting like a lot of you really thought this wasn't going to be your life for some reason? Like this was somebody else's life and you were like, that will never be me because they're saying never judge another. And now healing begins. Like you fell into the same trap that you swore to yourself that you would never fall into. Like he saw everybody else go through this and you said to yourself, like, I'm not going to be that one. I am not going to do this. Follow the golden rule. Be a good person. Continue to do the right thing. This is what I'm seeing here because you're going to be rewarded. Okay. I'm also seeing choose a new direction. So whatever you're doing right now, obviously it's a hiccup. It's not working. You guys seem to be going through some kind of psycho energy within the wheel of fortune too. Cycle energy. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have a, a what is it, a year from now energy. I'm seeing like a new beginning or meeting someone new a year from now. I'm also getting this energy of, it says, <laughs> compromise balance. So you're going to have to make a choice because I'm seeing happy family. So you're going to do what's, what's best for your family. You're going to do what's best for your fulfillment what's best for your four what's best for you you know i do see someone else within your four so you're not meant to be alone this is what the angels are saying because you feel like you're meant to be alone like every time you try it's like your relationship is just <laughs> something is happening in your relationship and you don't know why you keep picking up the same energy this is what i'm being told here Let's see what the spirits around you. Animal spirits. Four gems. What's the animal spirits? Four gems. What's the animal spirits? Four gems. Dog. Some of you have a dog. Or you've just been seeing a lot of dogs lately. And then I am seeing... What else? maybe even birds or unusual birds um but a lot of you you need to be careful because i'm seeing that you might be having a child very soon for you females out there or males like something is being delivered to you it's like being delivered to you
Like, you're going to find out that you're going to be a father. You're going to be finding out that you're going to be a mother. <sighs> I'm here to enjoy the process, too. Okay. Let's see. I'm seeing success for you. So, a lot of you could be seeing birds, uh, turtles. It depends where you live. Um, if you live near the beach and you're seeing a lot of turtles, maybe baby turtles or sea turtles. Um, I'm seeing chipmunks as well. Yeah, this is a chipmunk. This is success. Look at that. The crown's energy. <laughs> success. And then I'm seeing taking the lead within the, the bear. Leadership. And I'm also seeing connections or doing a lot of shadow work and everything is, is actually connected within the spider web. So a lot of you could be seeing unusual spiders. Uh, I don't know, bears. It depends on where you live with the bears. Honestly, you could live in the north and you see that. If you live far north or in the north. Maybe Connecticut, Boston, Mass, Maine, you know, those places. <laughs> um, or out of the country somewhere that is just, you know, have this kind of animals. I don't where I live, but anything is possible. The world is changing. So, but I'm seeing dogs here or wolf dogs, maybe huskies or just, you know, wolf dogs, anything with a wolf energy or a wolf gene so and cats okay so i'm also seeing independence and power um psychic stability patience <laughs> you're doing really well gems i'm getting a lot of good vibration and you have the lizard on the back of the deck where you're trying to just really just blend in and just stay away from the drama so yeah i'm seeing that energy okay all right so let me just see what this person's feelings are real quick before we hit a, a hour okay because we're almost at an hour right now <laughs> so let's see or dab and name the energy so let's just see what this person's feelings are Holy Spirit. let's see what this person's feelings are what's this person's feelings what's this person's feelings what's this person's feelings for gems person's feelings for gems let's see I'm gonna do one more oh I don't need to here it is by looking at this, I'm just seeing like this person has a lot of burden. Okay, they're coming off with the what the King of Cups in reverse on the back of the deck. So they're they're coming in, especially in future aspects too with you. Like this is what they're thinking about in the future for you. Like a lot of manipulation. Like they need to manipulate you emotionally for some reason. I feel like this person is doing that just to, to have some form of way to keep you. Like they feel like they're losing you I'm seeing communication in the future I'm also seeing that this person has lost their grace okay within the six of wands energy like they lost their grace with you <sighs> like they used you they got what they wanted and I feel like maybe I, I'm just getting like this person, you know, started off really good. Like their feelings, they started off really good, but some somehow this person got lost in the sauce. And they just changed. 
and I'm also seeing manipulation here I'm seeing watching you you know the first they were saying that they weren't gonna sacrifice well they're not gonna sacrifice in the present moment but in the future energy you have the hangman here still spying still waiting still creeping around but will sacrifice um, but they're manipulative they're manipulative this person is all about control here within the Emperor energy within the future and trying to resolve this five of swords with you and then you have the hangman energy again <laughs> oh my gosh Pisces who is dealing with the Pisces here Aries as well that's coming out but this person in the present moment looks at you as you know like they like you you're the sun right you do so much good things for them you bring light and joy into their lives but there's certain people that they have for conversations for a good time i'm just seeing like they can't they're having issues letting these people go and i'm also seeing like this is overwhelming because it's like they have a burden that they're carrying and they don't want to give it up i don't know it's crazy because this person seemed like they were giving up this burden and now they're like with you they don't know if they can you know that's going to be okay it's like i'm hearing walking around help eggshells not be being themselves or having problems being themselves around you mm -mm -mm you deserve better you know i just feel like with this energy sometimes we're just believe everything that this person says because you don't have a reason not to but i feel like things are changing like they look at you still like this but you change because you were showing up in reverse when we were in your energy so this person clearly did something or took advantage of your 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 kindness your warmth basic advantage of that <coughs> that's what i'm saying here <laughs> all right so let me pull some cards here tell me more holy spirit let's see yeah something about the truth Something about the truth in the number 20. You know, this person is going to have to make things right by telling you the truth or did, or making that decision. There's no, like, action behind the number 20. The number 20 is the judgment, and that is Aries, and that is Libra energy. And I feel like this person has not made that decision to put action behind it, the, you know, to really move forward with that meditation bring answers as well i'm seeing you guys need to trust within your guides you're ready a lot of you are like i'm not ready for this transition i'm not ready for what's going on here i'm afraid and the angel guides are basically saying that you are ready okay it says ask help from others i'm just seeing a lot of asking help or being open what i'm seeing i keep seeing that i keep seeing that all right peaceful resolution so you're going to work things out and this is going to happen at the right time divine time and and it might not be your time but the angels are saying when it happens it will happen at the right time and you need to trust that within the temperance you need to trust that with an angel Raphael that is just trying to give you the time so you can heal so you can choose yourself um and this is what i'm getting here so ask what is it ask for help from others okay this could be your friends or your family or people that you really want to open to open up to but you're afraid to the angels are also saying remain positive within the situation there is no need to worry because worry is a wasted emotion and really focus on your health improving your health and your wealth i feel like when your health is improved when you are disciplined in life then you start making wealth when you're not disciplined like going to the gym and really having some kind of structure in your life you're going to be it's going to be very hard for you but when you have structure and you're you just have a, a schedule 
you're going to be making more money within your life so just change your life up you guys and make sure you're having structure okay so this is what i see here i think that is it for now um i hope this does resonate with you um gems i'm looking to see if there's anything else that the holy spirit want me to say before i leave this space um no but i think we're all good right i think we're all good but this is what i have i hope that it resonates and go ahead and like the video all the information is down below for me um yeah and i'll see you guys in your next one um peace and light to all of you and have a good day bye guys